Hello everyone, this is Snowfall201 and today we're doing an Elder Scrolls Versus. I'm going to be taking two characters that would normally never battle one another and seeing who I think would come out on top. Today we have Mana Marco, the King of Worms, versus Pelino Whitestrake. So what I'm going to do is give a rundown on each character and then give my verdict. First off, we have the King of Worms, Mana Marco. He was an incredibly powerful Ultimar Mage, training under the Sigic Order until he was banished for the necromancy practices he was conducting on his own classmates. He would go on to create the Order of the Black Worm and through his own rituals become an undying lich. During the Second Era, he attempted to betray the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. However, he was defeated by the Vestige and tortured in Cold Harbor from which he then escaped. During the events of Daggerfall, Manamarco finally achieved his goal of apotheosis during the Warp in the West. However, due to the nature of Dragon Breaks, he also remained immortal, because the series can never just be straightforward. During the events of Oblivion, he attempted to destroy the Mages Guild, however was unsuccessful and was slain. His divine form, though, still lives on. Pelino Whitestrike, the Divine Crusader. If we're going the route of not straightforward, I sure chose a good one. Pelino was renowned for his skill in battle. He served under Alicia during the Slave Rebellion against the Aelids, slaughtering them in their thousands. He was known for bouts of extreme anger and violence, even once allegedly being stopped by Akatosh himself. After slaughtering many of the Aelid kings, the rebellion arrived at the White Gold Tower, where Pelino was challenged by Umaril the Unfeathered, the champion king of Meridia. Umaril sent his soldiers in first to wear the Crusader down, but even in his weakened state, he was still able to slay the elf. However, he was then attacked by the other elven kings hiding in the city, and his body was cut into eight pieces. However, he has still shown up multiple times after his alleged death. Now I'm sure a lot of you probably guessed this outcome, but if we're not taking into account Manamakro as a god, then Pelino wins easily. His specialty was killing elven sorcerers after all. If we do give Manamakro his apotheosis, then I'll give the point to him. He is a god. But barring any divine intervention, I would say overall, Pelino has to take this one. As impressive as escaping Cold Harbor and his necromancy is, Manamakro just cannot hold a candle to Pelino's combat skills. Also, Pelino might be a time-traveling cyborg, but let's just not get into that one. But what do you think? Do you agree? Does the King of Worms have a trick up his sleeve I haven't thought of? Let me know down below. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.